Hey guys, this is FGM here, and today I'm going to show you how to change your IP if you're hosting a Minecraft server. And the benefits of this is that when you're hosting a Minecraft server, for in order for other people to log in, you have to give them your IP. And giving your IP to strangers is dangerous. So in this tutorial, I'll show you how to spoof it. You can change it to pretty much anything you want. Alright, so let's get started. So first open up internet, the internet and go to no-ip.com. So once you're here, you want to go to personal and make sign up for a free account. You can get a paid one, but free one is just as good. So once you're here, you put in all your information agree I already have an account so I'll just skip this step so after you're done making an account go to download and download the client and it should t it's pretty small it won't make your computer lag or anything so you don't have to worry about that and then after that you want to sign in and once you sign in go to your account and now when you're at this page click on add a host so here you put in what you want it to be called like let's say I'll call mine testing 123 and you want to change this to no-ip.biz uh, it can be pretty much anything from the free ones but I, I think this is the best one all right, and you leave everything the way it is. Oh yeah, and if you're wondering if this is my IP, it's not, I'm using a VPN. So, yeah. So you leave everything the way it is and you do create host. All right, now I'll show you your previous ones also. And, okay, now you're done. So you should have your client downloaded and I'll open up mine and it should look like this if you want to select a host I already have um, I'm, I already have previous one but if you want when you want to select it choose the one you made click save and now turn on your minecraft server I let that load and now run this log in Alright, go to multiplayer and in order for you to sign in you can either put your IPv4 address or that uh, the address you put in your system dot properties file or you can put the etech form dot no IP dot bit well that's mine so yeah you can either do that or the testing one but it's better if you put your IPv4 address and for other people you give them your other one which is for me is testing one two three four this one I'm using from some from my other computer so you can see it's up and yeah basically that's it now you can sign in and other people can sign in using that address so basically where they have to type it in is just add server and um, yeah add server and or d direct connect and they just put the name here all right so I hope you guys enjoyed the video please rate comment and like the video and su also subscribe it helps a lot uh, if you have any questions just leave in the comment below and I'll see you next time